Hey guys, it is very early in the morning here. <laughs> the sun is not even up yet. Um, I A little while ago, I did a video for you guys called What I Eat in a Day when I was uh, directing Orange. And I've been getting a lot of requests to do another one. So now that I'm pregnant, I've been getting requests to do one while being pregnant. So I'm gonna do What I Eat in a Day, Pregnant Edition. Okay, so this is a perfect example of something quick that I'd put together because I want to have breakfast already when I <laughs> when I bring my, my daughter downstairs. So now she'll be upstairs chirping and just waiting for me. These are these buckwheat muffins that I have prepped. They're really great because I put Greek yogurt in there for some extra protein and calcium, and which is great because I found out that I'm low in calcium, and I also found out that I'm anemic, which is not great. I mean, I'm not surprised, because that same thing happened with my first pregnancy, but I'm really trying to sneak in some extra calcium and iron. And then I also have my perfect yellow hard-boiled eggs. I always have these in the fridge as a quick protein grab. The first thing I'm gonna do is preheat the oven to 250, and then I'm gonna put in two of these muffins. So this is a pan, a little bit of parchment paper. The other thing too about these, because they have Greek yogurt and the blueberries in there, they're pretty moist so they can take reheating, which is great and they don't dry out. I'm gonna pop these in the oven for probably five to 10 minutes. Now the muffins are heated up. So now I'm just going to cut them in half. And it's great having this stuff just ready to go because I can have breakfast done in less than 10 minutes. I also love adding avocado whenever I can and olive oil, coconut oil, stuff like that. Fat is really important um, throughout your whole pregnancy. So I have my muffin. Let's put some butter on there. <laughs> so there's the buckwheat muffin, avocado, and some really great protein. Okay, I will see you guys for lunch. I'm gonna go get my kid now. <laughs> okay, so it's lunchtime, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating for lunch. What I eat in a day, pregnant edition. <laughs> okay, cool. These are quinoa cakes that I have prepped. They're really yummy, and I snuck in some vegetables so that my daughter will get some vegetables in there. She's gotten a little bit pickier uh, with her eating, so I'm trying to figure out how to sneak vegetables into anything. But so far, I'm all about just mincing vegetables and sneaking them into, you know, little finger foods that she can just kind of eat. And these are some meatballs that I made last night. I'm gonna heat up the meatballs in a pan with some of this sauce. And then, just like I did with the muffins, I'm gonna throw some of these quinoa cakes onto this pan, pop it in the oven. One thing that's really great uh, for calcium too is like thing, like le dark leafy greens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some kale chips, super easy, and it's a great way to get these kind of veggies into your diet. I'll cut the kale off the stalks, and then I'll plunge it into really, really salty water. And then usually you'll see a bunch of things float to the surface. And then after I kind of plunge it into the salt water, then I rinse it in fresh water. And then I'll just throw it in a salad spinner. Sometimes I'll make kale chips all the time and then I'll eat so many of them that I get sick of them. But now is a perfect time where because I know I need these extra nutrients and supplements can be kind of tricky depending on how your doctor feels about it. You know what I mean? They can be kind of tricky in pregnancy so I really try to get these nutrients from food. You know, I had a friend tell me about, she's like, just rebrand the food, like call it pizza eggs or something like that and make it sound fun and exciting for the kids. So we call this green popcorn and it seems to be working. So what you wanna do is preheat your oven to 300. So I'll put like, a tablespoon and a half of salt in here. I'm gonna fill it with water, I'm gonna plunge it, and then I'll just rinse it with fresh water. So I just finished rinsing the kale, and now I'm gonna dry it. And I just put it into a salad spinner, just like any old regular lettuce. And 
and then I'll just put it right onto a tray. All right, great. So this is still a little bit wet. So I'm going to take these paper towels and I'm just going to squish these and make sure you get all that water off. So now what I'm going to do is olive oil, some fresh ground Himalayan salt, and a little bit of pepper. Because my daughter eats these, she's not a huge fan of black pepper, so I just do a little bit. So you really want to get into each little piece and do a little <laughs> massage. So the oven should be hot now, 300 degrees. And also just think about the size of a chip. So if you have a huge piece of kale, you know, cut it down. So it's a nice little, you know, size like that. You just like pop it in your mouth. And it's okay if they're touching a little bit. You just don't want them like piled on top of each other because you want them to get crispy. See, beautiful. So after 10 minutes, I'm gonna go in there with a spatula and kind of flip them over and then set a timer for another 10 minutes. And usually with an oven at 300, at least my oven, every oven is different, but with my oven at 300, in 20 minutes, these are super crispy and a little golden and they're perfect. On the rack above them, I'm gonna heat up these quinoa cakes for lunch too. My prepped meatballs, I'm gonna cut them in half because it's easier to reheat them that way for me. I'm gonna put them in a pan. So I'm gonna cut them in half, put them in a pan, and on a very low flame, just slowly start warming them up. So I have the meatballs in here, and then I'm just gonna let it kind of warm slowly and simmer and do its thing while the stuff is in the oven, and then lunch will be all ready. So especially when I'm pregnant, I'm really adamant about making sure I have my broth daily. And one way to do that is, you know, I'll have it in my little mug, like a tea mug, but also my daughter loves soups, and soups are just so great to have prepped in the fridge, and it's so easy to reheat for dinner, so I'm gonna make a chicken soup for all of us. So I wanna show you guys my chicken broth. Okay, so this, this is my chicken broth that I've had cooking since yesterday. So because it's been cooking for about 24 hours, it's really, really cooked down. After about four to five hours, I pulled all the meat off. So because this has been cooking for 24 hours, I pulled all the meat off yesterday. So this is ready to go. So when I strain the bones and the, you know, the vegetables out, then I'm left with this beautiful liquid gold. And so I'll cut up new vegetables, new carrots, new celery and onion, and I'll chop up this chicken and throw it in there. So that's what I'm gonna do for my daughter's lunch. And then my husband and I will have that ready to go for dinner. And then that soup I'll have in my fridge for a couple days, which is great. So I just wanna show you guys, the timer went off for 10 minutes and I'm just kind of flipping and fluffing these around. They're already getting crispy. So I'm gonna spread them out so that they're all in one layer. And I'm gonna put this back in the oven for 10 minutes and then they'll be done. So here are the kale chips. You can hear they're nice and crispy. Golden brown, super crispy. Or green popcorn. Here's an example of my lunch for what I eat in a day, pregnant edition. Hey guys, so the last part of my what I eat in a day, pregnancy edition, is uh, my dinner. So with the chicken broth that I showed you guys earlier, you know, I pulled the chicken off. And then with that, broth, I made a soup. So there's some carrots in there, parsnips, potatoes, celery, and then the chicken. And then, and then it's bath time. So I'm going to run up and do that. And then after, you know, will be dinner time. So a lot of times I make my own bread, but with being really tired of being pregnant, there's actually a local bakery that makes this great kind of, um, multi-grain gluten-free bread. So We'll have a couple slices of this with some butter on it. And then that will be dinner. And then I'll probably have some chocolate chip cookies <laughs> for dessert. It's weird because with my first pregnancy, I would crave these deli foods like pastrami on rye and pickles and sauerkraut and things like that. And then with this one, it's like milk and cookies, which is so not me. 
And then normally, you know, if I'm gonna snack, I didn't snack today because it happened to be a really busy day and the meals that I made kept me satiated. But, um, you know, normally what I'll do if I'm gonna have a snack is I'll do a protein shake. And one thing that I do is when I get bananas and you don't eat them right away and they get too overripe, put them in, these are these little clear biodegradable bags that I get, but put them in little baggies and throw them in your freezer. So when you're making a shake, you just take these out and throw them in um, in your shake and they're so great. They help make it thick and you know take the place of some ice and it's just so yummy. So I'll like throw this in there with some frozen blueberries um, some spinach and almond milk and some collagen powder. And that's a really good um, snack that I'll do. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another one. And I will see you guys next time.